Well, good morning, good afternoon, good night, grade six. And today, what we are learning to do is our goal is we're all looking about 3D shapes this week, and our focus is looking at the difference today between prisms and pyramids. Now, later in the week, what we're going to be doing is drawing nets of prisms and pyramids and uh, creating our own <clears throat> 3D shapes. But it's very important that we have this base knowledge down pat straight away. So that's our goal. Also, a reminder that we are going to be, uh, there's a homework question that's going to come at the end of this video. So you need to make sure that you are watch this, learn this, and uh, complete the task. So as I said, the... Uh, learning goal is the difference between prisms and pyramids, so let's get stuck into it. First of all, we need to try and work out what is a pyramid, what is a prism. Let's start with the pyramid. So the pyramid, we know that the base is a polygon, so a straight-sided flat shape. So we know that's the base. So the base could be a triangle, rectangle, pentagon, or a hexagon. Okay, so that's the base. And we know that the sides of a pyramid are triangles. And those triangles meet at the top, and we call that the apex. So that's just some key information about pyramids. Prisms. We know that prisms are solid objects that have two identical ends and all flat sides. The two identical sides could be triangles, they could be rectangles, and they could be other shapes, and I'll show you some examples later on. The name of the prism comes from the ends of the shape, which gives the prism its name. And you probably know some of these, and you could probably call them out to me right now in the video. For example, a triangular prism has triangular ends. And that's why it's called what it's called. Let's have a look at some examples. And let's see if we can identify some of our criteria um, as in relating to pyramids and prisms. All right, let's first of all look at what makes a rectangular pyramid a rectangular pyramid? Let's start at the base. The base is a polygon. What sort of base is it? It's a rectangle. All right. Are the sides triangles? Yes, they are. Do they meet at the top of an apex? Yes, they do. There, though, that criteria makes it clear that that is a pyramid. Let's have a look at the rectangular prism. Why is this a rectangular prism? Well, is it a solid object? Yes, it is. Has it got two identical ends? Yes, it is. Yes, they do. What shape? Obviously, a rectangle. All right? And given that they are a rectangle, gives it its name, the rectangular prism. Triangular prism. All right? Let's have a look at the triangular pyramid versus the prism. All right, what well, we can see here, all right, is there a polygon as a base? Yes, there is. What shape is that? Well, it's a triangle. Are there triangular sides? Yes, there are. Does it meet at the apex? Yes, it does. Let's look at the prism. Is it a solid, solid object that has two identical ends with all flat sides? Yes, it does. Okay, the base, however, you'll notice is a, looks like a, a square, okay, and the ends of this particular shape are triangles, so therefore we'll have a triangular prism. Pentagonal pyramid. Why is it called a pentagonal pyramid? Well, you can see that the base is a polygon that is a pentagon. It's got the triangular sides, and it meets at the top of the apex. All right, once again, that criteria. The prism here, all right, two sides are the same. In this case, they're both pentagons. All right, what shape are they? Pentagon, is it a solid shape? Yes, it is. That's why we call it a pentagonal um, prism. I'll let you look over this one, study it, try and work out why that first shape there is a pyramid, why is this shape here uh, called a prism. Very quick video today, we're nearly at the five minute mark. Today's homework task is a really simple one. Given all of the information that I have given you today in this five minute video, 
What I need you to do for homework tonight is to create a Venn diagram. All right, we've been doing this in class, and it relates to what we're doing in reading at the moment, which is comparing and contrasting. What I need you to do is I need you to create a Venn diagram which looks at prisms and pyramids. What are the features of prisms that make a prism a prism? What are the features of pyramids that make a pyramid a pyramid? And what are the things that they have in common? Now, I wasn't able to work out my um, shapes on PowerPoint, so these should be overlapping. But we've done plenty of these Venn diagrams in class, so you should know what I mean. I need that done by tomorrow. Very simple task. Today's goal was learning how to um, understand the difference between prisms and pyramids. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you again next week.